So newly discovered Comet C2025 R2 Swan is paying us a visit in the night sky. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can observe it and how we've got on observing it ourselves. So the Swan in Comet Swan doesn't mean the name of the discoverer. It's named after the Swan instrument on the Solar Observatory, the space probe that permanently monitors the sun. And it was an amateur astronomer on the 11th of September noticed this comet crawling across the field of view. It had come from the other side of the sun, hadn't been seen before, new discovery. And it's now moving away from the sun into the evening sky. So we've had great fun capturing this from Namibia. We look west after sunset. You've got Mars, you've got Zubin, Kanubi in Libra. Find those in the binoculars. Work out where the comet is actually is that night and then I can put the telescope onto it. And with the power of the camera, that's when we reveal all those beautiful details in the tail. Through the eyepiece, you can see the bright coma, you can see the comet itself. I haven't had much success finding the tail, and probably because that moonlight is so bright, but you can definitely see that bright spherical ball, that bright nucleus and the coma around it. And it really is this beautiful green color on the camera, and that's because of the gases with inside of the comet, they're now reacting with the ultraviolet sunlight and that's what's making it fluoresce, this beautiful green colour. So looking forward then, early October is going to be challenging for many people in the northern hemisphere. The comet's still quite low in the sky. It is best seen from the southern hemisphere, but every night the comet is climbing further and further into the northern sky. And I'm going to make a prediction, which is always a bit risky with comets, but that period around the sort of 15th to the 23rd of October, that's when it's going to be best placed You've got the moon out of the sky, the comet's actually coming closest to the Earth and it's moving further and further north into the night sky. And best of all, on the nights of the 17th and the night of the 18th of October, the comet's passing both the Swan Nebula and the Eagle Nebula. So that's going to be an amazing sight, seeing both the comet and those nebulae in the same field of view. So for most Northern Hemisphere observers, that period around middle to later October, the comet's going to be about 10 to 15 degrees above the horizon come sunset. So my recommendation is get away from the city lights. You want to be under a nice dark sky. Make sure you've got a clear western horizon and no obstructions. Wait for sunset. Look up its position in your app of choice. And as those first stars start appearing, I then get my binoculars, scan around, trying to find it in the night sky. Once I've got its position, I then know where to point my telescope. So for the majority of observers then, the conditions are only going to get better. That viewing angle is going to improve. The comet's going to climb higher into the night sky. The moon's going to move out of the evening sky. And the comet itself is actually physically moving closer towards the Earth. And it should be, maybe, possibly, be visible from a dark site to the naked eye. Now, you are going to need to know exactly where to look. And I'm not expecting to see a brilliant Comet Nearwise or a Comet Shunchinchan Atlas that we enjoyed last year. But if you know exactly where to look, and I'm thinking it's going to be a bit like the Andromeda Galaxy. Yes, you know, yes, you can be able to see it in the night sky, but I'm not predicting that we're going to have this comet tail stretching across the night sky. And of course, in the media, on the social media, there's going to be lots of AI driven clickbait saying how this once in a lifetime comet will be visible. So don't believe that. Know exactly where to look. Look it up in the app and then you'll be able to find it. So it is visible in binoculars as I write this now, and that's amazing because the moon is absolutely drowning out everything else in the night sky. So even though this bright moon is up, you can still see it in a pair of binoculars. Beautiful sight when we do the live stacking, bringing out all those details in the tail. It's moving north, it's gonna become more and more visible for Northern Hemisphere observers as October goes on. And of course that moon is moving out of the evening sky. Look up its position in your app of choice, get away from the city lights, make sure you're in a place with a nice clear western horizon. I then pick up where the comet is in my binoculars, confirm its position, and that's when I put the camera on it to then record all those faint details. And as always, let us know how you get on, let us know how you find the comet, and I look forward to bringing you more videos as we explore the night sky.